I like this topic. Whoever threw this one in, who, who do you think would benefit the most? And are we talking about legacy or or just overall marketability? Like, what are we discussing? I, I think all that wraps with one another. I don't think you could really get away from one without the other. It all comes together. I mean, up the yes benefits you know, of it. because if a younger player wins it, the marketability just skyrockets. Someone like LeBron winning it this year, he has maybe two more years left. It's, there's, there's no more thing to market. Yeah, not yeah. to league anymore. So, so I think you have to outweigh one with the other. Like which one I, is more? Let me let me, let me throw for one each out. for each person. Like yeah, it could be different for who I think would benefit right now hugely. Luka Doncic. And I say that because the kid is just flat out phenomenal, right? He's just phenomenal, phenomenal. But I don't think in the current setup that he's in, he can win it all. I don't think he has enough pieces. He might not even be in the right team. But if he was to pull it off with Kyrie and in Dallas, Mark Cuban, um, actually they have new ownership now. And uh, that would be really big for the league because you're talking about someone who they want to be the face of the league. He's one of the guys that they want to be one of the faces of the league. He's still relatively young. Um, I think he's getting better, which is scary. So I, I would say Luka would benefit tremendously from winning the championship this year. I think it would be bigger than, than Jokic winning because Jokic wants no parts of fame <laughs> or, or so, the lights. I, I think Luka for me. So, so the reason... I didn't go with Luca. Is because the NBA is a basically it's an American sport. I mean, it is global, but it's an American sport. I don't think Luca is the biggest draw on the American side to be like that guy that benefits a lot from it. I think he kind of will be in the Joker, Giannis, you know, a marketability type thing. Like Luca's cool, but I'm not going to get the, the air Luca's. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So somebody who I picked would be Anthony Edwards. Think of Anthony Edwards, his marketability. He's somebody who, if he wins a championship, you're talking about can he reach for the mantle of being in the GOAT conversation for the two guards or just a GOAT conversation, period. Because he get one at the age of 22 where Jordan got his first one at what? 27 ish, 28. Um, LeBron got his around the same time. D Wade was one of the few people that who had like the star, maybe GOAT ability who got his young, but he just couldn't maintain it just because of the knee. But you have AE who's dunking on players at 22. He get one. You also had, let me bring that back. You also had Kobe, but Kobe wasn't the man on the team yet. He was still getting upstaged by Shaq until Kobe turned what, darn near 30 in his like 12th or 13th year when he got his first one on his own. But if you get A.E., who will be outright the man on the team if he gets it. Colin and Towns is a nice sidekick. You got Goldberg's a nice big man. But A.E. get one right now with the things that he's doing. He's dunking on players. He talks shit. And... That's, you know, that's us. We like people who talk shit and who could back it up. He could talk shit. He could back it up. Um, he scores the ball at the highest level. And he's young enough to get it. And he could do it in a city who hasn't won a championship ever, hasn't been to a conference championship ever. So for him to turn around that whole city, you could market him close to how Michael Jordan was marketed in that Chicago kind of you know, style of a team that really didn't do anything before but was coming up and have years to come will be great. Now, can you get one, two? Now, after you get the one, oh, shit, he got one at 22. If you get one at 23, now we're like, damn, 24, 25, we get at least one in those couple of years. So now we're looking at somebody that's really big who could change the game. And, and now we're, we're getting some air, Anthony Edwards. So also when I'm, I'm going to talk about this, I could have named other people. James Harden, I just think he's third fiddle now. 
it don't matter whatever the hell he does right now. That championship would be null avoid for him. Um, CP3 is old. LeBron, when it comes to LeBron getting another championship, that would be great. But I think when people already have their mind made up in that situation between him and Jordan, if you like LeBron, you like LeBron, you like Jordan, you like Jordan. There's nothing that LeBron could do at this point that you'd be like, oh, that's going to put him over Jordan. It's just nothing. In people's minds, they they love their player here and there. And that's who they're going to stick with. Um, I like the Joker just because it puts him in the realm of um, the Shaq and Hakeem Elijah one conversation. So it just puts him into a stratosphere that that nobody else could really be in. So that's why I think it will benefit him a lot. But I won't think his marketability just sucks. But when you put him in a stratosphere of, of pantheon of greatness, I think it will benefit him. Probably third or fourth on that list, along with Giannis. So I, I thought I thought this was a great topic that Nick came up with um, yesterday. We were talking about it. Naturally, I didn't want to match what he says, and you know, we all have something to talk about. I look at. I don't even think Anthony Edwards is a top ten player in the league right now. So I think if, he, if, he, if, wins. He, was, if he was to win a championship, it'd be unbelievable. Um, but I don't think he's at a level where it matters yet. And so that's just my opinion. I don't think he's being questioned yet. I don't even know if that Luca's being questioned yet because everyone knows that one, he's a defensive liability himself. His team is a defensive liability as a team. He doesn't outside of Kyrie. All they do is shoot. Um, so they don't have a real big pre- like a, a big on that team that can help them realistically. Did, didn't they have KP Porzingis at one point? Yeah. Like that, I don't, I mean, that would have been a guy that you would have not wanted to let go of. That should have been for, a match made in heaven. Like, it should have been, been, but he was, but Porzingis was always hurt with that. Um, <clears throat> there's one guy to me that he's been put in conversations of MVP. But I don't think he's even a top. I don't. I, I would argue that he is maybe the tenth best player in the NBA, Jason Tatum. even though he's being praised as God, and as Jason Tatum. I would tell you right now that Joker, Embiid, Giannis, LeBron, Steph, KD, Kawhi, if healthy, Luca, SGA, Dame, Jimmy Butler, are all arguably better than him. Jimmy Butler has done more with less than Jason Tatum has. Oh, now, Jason Tatum has been to five Eastern Conference Finals. Um, the first one he went to was he wasn't the star of the team. Um, the second one, he averaged like 17 points a game. It was him and Brown. It was more like a committee that, that was played. It, it they, were the two be- they, they, they were the two best players, but in the playoffs, it was like a committee. It was supposed to be Kyrie. It, it, yeah. It was the, th- they, the so the real three years that him he and Jalen Brown went to the Eastern Conference Finals. They lost to the Heat in the bubble, then they beat the Heat and lost and lost to the Warriors in large part because they were completely immature, because they were better than Golden State. They were flat out better. They were way more talented, but they got beat up here, and then they lost last year to the Heat. Jason Tatum's, if Jason Tatum was to win a championship this year, he goes through the roof, presuming he's the MVP of the finals. Because if Jalen Brown, who I think is the better player, is the MVP of the finals, then Jason Tatum is, I think Jalen Brown's the better player. I thought Jalen Brown's the better, has been better than Jason Tatum forever. I think Jason Tatum is the light skinned dude in Boston because Jalen Brown looks like the angry, in a racist ass city like Boston. It's a fact. Jalen Brown is phenomenal. Except that he can't dribble left. <laughs> but he's phenomenal. His mid range game is unbelievable. He's athletic as freaking all hell. He shoots at a higher percentage than Tatum. He's more efficient than Tatum. Yet he always gets put his second fiddle to Tatum. Now, again, if Tatum was to win a championship, though, and be the finals MVP, I think that elevates Tatum's entire career, not to mention you're winning in Boston. 
there are two, at the end of the day, there are two NBA cities. Los Angeles and Boston. I'm a Heat fan. It ain't Miami. It was Chicago for six years. It ain't New York. Boston and L.A. right now are tied at 17 in rings. If Jason Tatum gets them a ring and puts them at 18, he will go down as so. He will be become be, beyond being beloved in Boston. <clears throat> he will be able to argue that he's a top five player in the NBA. I think it changes the trajectory of his career because right now he's a choke artist. He's a choke artist. He hasn't had. You lost to an eight seed, bro. I don't care that it's the Miami Heat. You lost to an eight seed. You were down 3-0. Yes, you came back. You got a gift to get to game seven. And yes, you sprained your ankle. You still played. And your team got blown out of the building on your home court. And I still think Miami would have beaten him. So the reason I don't have Tatum up there like that, because he's already, what, 25, 26? I just don't think he's, like we say, it will be between him and Jalen Brown even getting the MVP first and foremost because Jalen Brown could go for 40. If they have the same numbers, if they have the same numbers, Tatum gets We're going to give it to the light-skinned kid because they they love Tatum. I've been saying that for the longest. So I think you stole stole my Facebook post because I've been saying that for years. I've been saying that Jalen Brown's, you know what I've been saying Jalen Brown's been better than fucking Tatum for three, four years, man. I I always been. I I love Jalen Brown. I think Jalen Brown's, I think Jalen Brown is the best. I think if you were to trade somebody, you trade Tatum. So that's my opinion. Me too. I love Jalen Brown. I we don't agree often, but that's one of the, the things we agree on. Jay- but the he's thing a with Tatum, freak. the reason why I don't have Tatum up there like that is benefiting him as much as as AD. Mm. I don't think Tatum level is probably about here his ceiling. I think AE's ceiling could be substantially way higher. Oh, I, I agree with you. After so that's the only you. reason I got AE because I'm thinking about some goat shit with AE, not just like oh Tatum wins one this year in Boston, even though you're giving Boston so much credit for not winning the championship in thirty damn years. Did you say what, the fuck, what the fuck did you just say? Because they won one goat championship. Shit? I'm just saying he. I think he has the potential to get into some goat shit if he wins one earlier as now, and then he goes put another one up in another couple of years. He's in that he'll be close to that conversation. We'll start talking about it, depending on how serious he takes it. You have high think, expect- just, You have high I, expectations. <laughs> I think his ceiling is that high. That's why I don't think Tatum's ceiling is that high, and that's the only reason why I don't have Tatum up there like that. I, don't I think, think he, as I, far as beneficial to his career at this moment. If if Anthony Edwards doesn't win, he's twenty three, right? No, no, I get that. I get that side. If he doesn't win till he's twenty five, like he still wins. Tatum is what twenty five, twenty six already, twenty seven. Yeah. I don't even know. Twenty six. I think it's twenty six. Twenty six. He's choked his ass off four times. Heck, they had Game Seven against the Cavs in his third year or second year, and they lost was, that game to LeBron. Was, second year. He, I think he, he was. He was like. Tw- he was like, no, it was the second. It was the second year. Right? I don't even think he could. I don't even think he could buy alcohol yet. Oh, you can't count that. He was like, he no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm. Well, they had the lead in the fourth quarter, um, on their home floor, without and, Kyrie. Like, I, 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 do I think the Heat choked against the Celtics in Game Seven against in 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 Miami two years ago? Absolutely, we choked. We had the we had. It's our home floor. You're supposed to win at home. I don't care who you're playing. You're at home. You should. You're supposed to win. He has not played well in game sevens against us primarily. He has not. Even when they beat us two years ago, he didn't play a great game. He played an okay game. The year before, we knocked him out in six. Last year, he had 14 points. He hurt his ankle. I don't care. Jimmy Butler played on a sprained ankle for seven games. I could arguably say that Jimmy Butler would benefit from this more because it would actually it would erase every critic he's ever had. Because that man's won one games with trash can. He's been to the finals with G Leaguers. With G Leaguers. But I didn't want to say Jimmy Butler because that'd be too goddamn predictable. He's 35 years old. Yeah. I think Jason Tatum changes his career if he wins. If but and if he doesn't, he's still regarded as a fucking choke artist. Because there are people that think he's a top five player. He's in conversation for MVP. And I don't think he's a top ten player in the NBA right now. People might call me crazy. I don't think he is. 
I have him right around ten to twelve. I that means you have Jalen. That means you have Jalen Brown ahead of him. I no. I have. Them. I don't think Jalen Brown's a top ten player in the NBA. I have. I have. I have them both around like twelve. I don't have Dame. Dame anymore around there. Oh, what? Ha- what? Hey, Dame was your best combo duo last week. Number three duo. Yeah, that's a duo because his number one is the fucking stud. Oh yeah, and they lost to the Lakers yesterday at home. Dame is no. Yeah, Dame defense is terrible. His shooting percentage has gone down the he, toilet. Too. He probably can't guard you. You might be right on that one. Dame, I, Dame can't guard me, but no. Luca can. Yeah, God Luca damn. can. Luca's longer, bigger. He had a bigger ass. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> I outweigh. I I outweigh Dame by seventy five pounds. Yeah, so you might could muscle Dame a little bit, even though his his lateral quickness on defending guards is oh my gosh. But he can't guard you. Is it good or is it bad? He can't guard it's, nobody. It's terrible. It's terrible. Oh, it's, it's terrible. I don't. I don't get it. <clears throat> Yeah, I was yeah. trying not to believe the hype where people were talking about his defense, but there's a reason that they gave up 120 points a game in Milwaukee now. It's because of him. <laughs> they, they, of can him. Score, they can score the ball though. They need to find yeah. a better option. Of uh, they blew a 19 point lead yesterday versus the Lakers in fourth quarter. They should be able to score the ball a lot better than. How do you get out score at 19 in the fourth quarter without in, LeBron in your, in your Yeah, with LeBron on the bench. Well, that goes back to the fact that I think they're better without LeBron on the floor. They're six and four. <laughs> They're sixty percent, and without with him, they're under that. <laughs> and before the, before yesterday, they were fifty fifty one percent. Still better than what they are with him. Fifty four percent. No, they were fifty four percent before yesterday. They are. They they play so much more free without him. But yeah, I, I think Jason Tatum will be the one that benefits, and I still think he's going to lose this year because I think the Nuggets are going to win it again. Presuming health. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell. So you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.